this handwriting is just awful. Um, I have four corners like a square pancake, but I'm stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. I pass through the lips one piece at a time. The more you consume, the broader your mind. Oh, well, Paimon's drooling from that one. Is there really a food that can make you smarter? Paimon's got to try that. <laughs> oh, Paimon, you have to look past the surface level meaning with riddles, or you'll fail to plumb their depths. Huh? So have you got any ideas, Shinjo? <laughs> well... Singcho just hung that riddle up a moment ago. Oh, so this is Shincho's riddle! You know, Paima was expecting you to write something a little more... Elegant. This festival is about building friendship and mutual understanding. With so many friends from Mondstadt present, I thought I'd try writing something more accessible and less flowery, so that more people could enjoy it. Hey, not bad! Uh, so, buddy, does that mean you can tell your old pal Paimon the answer on the slide? Not a chance. You'll have to wait for the answer to be revealed, just like everyone else. Ha! Huh. Mimi! If that's how you feel, why don't you try and stump me with a riddle of your own? Traveler, you'll help Paimon come up with a riddle, right? Ha! At least you're nice to Paimon! <laughs> then I look forward to seeing the fruits of your literary labors. that the chairs get tired from working all the time, so they shouldn't use them to sharpen their claws. Oh, okay. So a riddle needs to have a bait and switch. Are you trying to write one? Yep, and thanks to you, Paimon's just thought of one. Maybe I should try to come up with one, too. <laughs> all right, Paimon's riddle is now hanging up. Diona, do you want to know the answer? Nah, no need. I don't really care about winning a prize. Oh, okay then. Well, looks like it's time to cheer. Have fun. Hey, looks like everyone's about done mingling and riddling. Gather round and look this way. Venti and I have selected several riddles from everyone's contributions, and we added a few of our own to the mix for good measure. Shortly, we'll randomly select a few to read aloud. If your riddle gets selected, remember that you have to announce the correct answer at the end. Anyone who guesses correctly gets one point, and if nobody guesses correctly, the writer of the riddle gets a point. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, when the Riddler reveals the right response, it only counts if everyone agrees that it's not too far-fetched. That's right. Now, if there are no more questions, it's time to reveal the first riddle. Hopefully, they'll draw at least some that I can get. Oh, no. Does only the first person to solve it get the points? Ugh. That means I have to be first to raise my hand. Please choose Paimon's riddle. Please choose Paimon's riddle. Riddle number one. Let me see here. Ugh. This riddle is, uh, unique, um, especially the handwriting. I have four? Co four! Four corners, like a square pancake, but I'm st stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. Baked? Baked. I pass through the chips? Lips. Uh, one piece at a time, the more you uh, c consume, 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 the broader your mind. <gasps> they drew Shinchos! Better answer as quickly as you can. You don't want someone else beating you to it. You oh, rat! Um, it's, uh, pizza! The answer is pizza! Even without the author coming forward, I can uh, confidently declare uh, this answer wrong. I mean, how does eating pizza broaden your mind? And while I'm no expert in exotic dishes, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> pe but eating pizza makes you happy, and being happy makes it easier to face problems that need solving, so... Okay, Paimon admits she may have jumped the gun on this one. Maybe it's some other kind of food. Oh, no, 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 no. Riddles are never that simple. And it needs to be something that makes people more intelligent. Oh, if Paimon had known it was going to be this tough, she'd have read more books in her time. What is it? Have you got it? Huh? quicker than I expected. I was quite proud of that one. Oh, it appears the riddle writer has announced the answer. Okay, one point to Paimon. Huh? So the answer was books? Paimon. Huh? So the answer was... <laughs> We're awesome at this! Oh, uh... <laughs> What Paima meant to say was that you're awesome at this. On to riddle number two. I gotta get in there first this time. High above the wispy clouds, amidst the gloomy snow-filled shroud, standing alone on an icy stage, beneath it every lowly sage. <laughs> Looks like a poem from Leela. Oh, it's... I got it! Uh... uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, looks like those two have some ideas. Hmm, could it be some kind of plant that lives in cold, high places? Mika, please go ahead. As a full knight of Avonius, you represent all of us from Mondstadt here. Uh, no. No, how could I? It was... My answer isn't necessarily correct. Besides, it's for... N no, I didn't. Uh, how gracious and considerate our fellow competitors are towards each other. A wonderful sight to see. How about both of you say your answer at the same time? If you're both right, you'll each get a point. Oops, I didn't realize we'd made such a scene. Oh, crud. I guess we... Um... So, Noel, uh... What... Yes, let's. Our answer is... Cecilia! Oh, that certainly sounds like a good candidate for the correct answer. A flower that blooms on the highest peaks and known for its exquisite beauty. The Cecilia is held by many Mondstatters to be the true Windbloom. Uh, although since the writer hasn't yet come forward to announce the answer, this probably wasn't the answer they were looking for. <laughs> Sorry. Any other answer? Oh, I can't believe I was wrong. 
Is the answer Qingxin? The poem does evoke a strong sense of quiet, proud solitude in a high place. Correct! I wrote this one. Qingxin is the right answer. No! Xinjo got it before Paimon could! However, after listening to the host's description, I do remember reading about Cecilia flowers in a book once. They definitely fit the description of a pure flower standing proudly and alone on high. So, I'd like to approve the answer from our two friends from Mondstadt as well. Really? Oh, well, thank you so much! <laughs> well, since even the Riddler themselves agrees, all three contestants earn a point each! Darn it! Shinjo's caught up to Paimon already! Yeah, you're probably right. Moving now to our third riddle. Huh? Why is the handwriting so... floaty? What's got no wings but flies in the air, never gets tired of floating up there. So full of mora it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes. That's Paimon's. They picked Paimon's riddle. Yay! <laughs> What is it? Why isn't anyone guessing? Is Paimon's riddle too hard? That's not quite it. More like... It's so ludicrously simple that we just cannot believe it. What? No way! Well, go on then! Tell us the answer if you're so sure! The answer is Paimon. It's Paimon. I was actually going to say Paimon, too. Me, too. Uh, no! You're all completely wrong! <laughs> How the heck did you all think the answer was Paimon? Paimon, do you have wings behind your back? Uh, no. You're always floating, but you never seem to get tired of it. And Paimon has a very healthy appetite, which must cost the Traveler a lot of Mora and meal expenses. I've heard from the Senior Knights that the Traveler rescued Paimon by fishing her out of the sea. So, that means Paimon can't swim. So if she fell in the sea, then... Glug, glug, glug. Wait, wait! Now Paimon's doubting herself! What was the answer again? No! You're all wrong! The answer to Paimon's fail is obviously the Jade Chamber! You know, the Jade Chamber that's always flying up there in the sky? Is that so? Hmm... I still maintain that the riddle actually describes Paimon more accurately. In fact, if we just added two more lines to the poem, it would be the perfect riddle. The Traveler's Companion and Talkative Guide. A praiseworthy presence always by their side. Aww, do you mean it? Can we really add that part? <gasps> you think so too? Okay, then Paimon would like to announce that the correct answer to the riddle is the widely adored Paimon! Great! And with that, the widely adored Paimon has gifted a point each to everyone who answered just now. <laughs> Guessing riddles is a lot of fun. And even though Paimon didn't manage... Oh! Uh, didn't Changyu mention he was investigating something before? Let's go... Hey, you two! Oh? Hi, Paimon. You know, for a moment there, I was worried I might lose to you. I am indeed. Though, if you really want it, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Seriously? Wow, what is it? Um... A most generous donation by yours truly, as director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Namely, a buy one, get one free coupon for our high-end customized service package. It's a pleasant surprise to learn. You're so interested in it, Paimon. 
Nope. Nuh uh. No, thank you. Hard pass. You can keep it. Are you sure? In that case, I'll gladly take it. Here you are. Now remember, this package comes with our anytime, anywhere, on-demand collection service. Just give us a call and we'll be right there. Uh, with any luck, <laughs> we'll still show up even if you're... So, to what do we owe the honor, Paimon? <laughs> what do you mean, we? Chanyun's the one Paimon's looking for, not you. Wasn't he saying something about needing help? Oh, yeah. How about I put it in riddle form? Huh? Isn't the competition over? Twas like a demon not demonic, or devil devoid of the diabolic. Afar it floated free above the ground, but when approached, though sought, not could be found. Um... Sounds to me like you encountered a ghastly little ghosty in the wild. Perhaps I should just explain it. Basically, while I was training this morning, I suddenly caught sight of a non-human entity. It was floating in the air without any kind of external aid, and its body was almost transparent. At first, I thought I'd finally encountered a demon that wasn't propelled by my pure yang spirit and immediately prepared to exercise it. But none of my methods had any effect on it. And when I went to try and get a closer look at it and try to ascertain what I was dealing with, it disappeared into thin air. Mm, you're sure it's not a ghost or spirit of... Quite sure. I could sense that it had a physical body. And if it were a spirit, I'm sure it would have been scared away long before I saw it. It's all my fault. I got overexcited, and in my haste, I didn't ascertain its true nature before taking action. Thinking back on it, if it wasn't an evil spirit, maybe I offended some kind of adeptus or illuminated beast. You shouldn't blame yourself. It was something you'd never seen before. Besides, we're making up for it now by doing our- Any thoughts, Venti? Have you managed to untangle Chong Yun's twisted tail? Hmm. Why don't you take a guess first, Tu Tao? Oh, that means you have. <laughs> I can't be absolutely certain, but I'm reasonably sure it's not what Li Wei would call an evil sp- Hmm. How about this? We can incorporate a search element into tomorrow's poetry activity. Oh, does that mean we get to play outside while we write poetry? <laughs> Close, but no. Good ideas could just pop into your head out of thin air, but if you ask me, everyone should relax tonight and get a good rest before tomorrow. You say that, but your gaze keeps drifting over towards the wine stand. Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. 